Now, this rubber band represent a strand. Here is the reference point A, B and C located at every turning point. We will use stressing jack to pull at one end and the other end is dead end. So, when you apply pulling force point A and point B will move. Point C however almost stagnant. As you can see point A is traveling more than point B. Which means the pulling force mobilize more at point A than point B and left a little force at C. This is to show that the pulling force loss increases following to increase of strand length. This is force after friction loss. After that, once you release the force for locking, the wedge in effect will create another loss from the mechanism. Point A and point B will return a little bit and no effect to point C. You can see here point A is moving more than point B. This is force after anchorage set.